Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying two haagen ice creams. These were $3.49 each at Kroger. Um, I waited and waited and waited to get this one, and it's finally here. Uh, this is the Crispy Trio Layers Ruby Cacao Crackle Ice Cream. And I have the Spirits, and this is the Rosé and Cream Ice Cream. Yes, so. It says, since 1960, our passion has been to transform the finest ingredients into extraordinary ice cream, continuing with our Trio Crispy Layers collection. Introducing the luxurious new flavor experience of the Ruby Cacao Bean with the fresh taste of berry, fruitiness, pistachio, and sweet cream hmm. ice cream complement sheets of crispy Ruby Cacao Layers. It is gluten-free. It uh, says two and a half servings are in the container, two thirds cup, 123 grams is 340 calories, or you can eat the entire um, container for 900 calories. This is a 14 ounce container. But it says Ruby Cacao Crackle, but underneath it says pistachio and sweet cream. So uh, I've had these sitting out for probably eight minutes or so, and haagen uh, still, thankfully, has a seal on it. And it, there's, I don't know if you'll be able to see that swirl. Show that. There's paper on it. There is. No, there's, there's no not. Paper? No. Is that literally it's ice cream? Ice cream. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, it looked like it was a thin layer of paper you get. Now, if you look closely, yeah. you'll see that darker swirl. I think that's the uh, probably the pistachio. It looks like it left a thin layer of paper on there. Ooh, I see the ruby. No, that was just the color of the swirl. Yeah. I was. It looked like it was under paper. You know how it gets a little. Yeah, um, and I can feel the crackle as I'm as I'm going through it. Yeah. So now you want to hold that up again. There we go. So they can see the the ruby. I have to get the camera to focus us on our faces. <laughs> I don't know if you ever saw that or not. <laughs> I hate that. Hate it. Mm, it's okay. I hate it. I and I know. thought for sure. That pistachio is nasty. Yes. <laughs> I like pistachio. I don't. But, uh, well, but well, you can... I don't dislike I don't hate it. Right. I, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. That pistachio, this is going to sound so strange. I'm sure it is, but I'm just going to tell you. I really don't like green tea items. Mm -hmm. And I've had, like, green tea ice cream, and it was, like, the worst stuff I ever yeah, put in my very mouth. Very earthy. Very earthy. That taste, that reminds me of that green tea ice cream. Yep. It's very earthy. It um, Like you're almost eating soil. Yeah, really, really. Like I have picked up a handful of dirt and the ruby doesn't do anything to help that. No, because it's kind of got a earthy flavor too. Um, <laughs> Honestly. I hate that. And you know, Kevin and I have bought... I could eat it, but I wouldn't enjoy it as much. The ruby... Um, Oh, see, I'm not even interested in going back in again. No, I to try one more. Um, oh, I think it's awful. I still taste just pure dirt in my mouth. Um, the Ruby Cacao, we have tried many, many different uh, things with it in there, and we've never really liked it. But I'm always willing to give it a chance in something different because you never know what combination you might like. Um, and so this is the... It has not changed for me. I still do not like it. Um, I don't think it's as bad as you think it is. Oh, I think it's horrible. I could eat it. It's not my favorite because I do think the, it does have an earthy flavor. But I don't think the ruby is as bad as some of the other things we've No, made. I have a place for that. That's awful. We've yeah. had ruby that's worse. You think? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, we've had ruby Kit. Well, Those ruby Kit Kats are like the worst things ever. Yeah, I didn't like them either. But now, but for me, the combination of the ruby and that dark Pistachio. flavor, that, yeah, I I, yeah. I don't like that. I, I could live with it. I and could I mean, eat it if I wanted to, but I, I wouldn't choose to. I really like pistachios. And so that's, yeah. I'm wondering if other people that like pistachios, what they're going to make of that. It'd be very interesting. Okay. 
I have higher hopes for this. This is the Spirits Rosé and Cream. Um, it says it contains less than 0.5% alcohol by volume, because I know you'll be curious. Uh, wine infused sweet cream ice cream is folded together with a refreshingly tart rosé flavored swirl. So sweet cream, wine infused, that'll be interesting. Uh, two and a half servings, two thirds cup, 134 grams. 310 calories per serving or 830 for the entire container. Once again, it's a 14 ounce container. So, um, Kevin and I uh, aren't crazy about wine to begin with, but keep an open mind. Might really, really like this. So, uh, the, the um, seals are a little different. That's the ice cream. Not the seal. I'm no. giving you a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> that one doesn't look like it's. Uh, I'm just giving you a hard time. Like it's got paper on it. Oh, this is really, really soft. This is a. It has a very, very uh, pale pink. Pink. Yeah. Yes, it's a I don't very. Know if you'll be able to tell. But yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to. See. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, that's a very pale pink. With a couple of little darker pieces in there. Wow. It's not bad. I it like, like a, that. It almost tastes like a champagne. To have to have only 0.5% alcohol in there is a surprise to me. That's a surprise to hear because it tastes much stronger than that. It does. And no, it tastes like wine. Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It tastes like wine. If I could have wine like this all the time, then, <laughs> then, then I would want it's it. Very sweet. Um, because I love it in the ice cream. Yeah, that's actually really good. I don't want it on its own uh, because it, it's just so strong and. Um, it's a little. Uh, it's always been a little too tart and bitter for yeah, me. Yeah, it's yeah. always yeah too pungent. But now this in that sweet cream ice cream, I think it's delicious. It's good. Um, yeah, and that's coming from people who don't don't uh, enjoy just drinking mm -hmm. regular wine. So if you like wine, you'll I think yes, you'll like that. You'll, yes, I think you'll absolutely. You might not like think it's it. as strong as it could as you would like if you drink wine already. But, but uh, since we don't drink it, I think to it's me, plenty strong enough. Yeah, to me, it still seems really strong, and that's the flavor. Um, you're not left with the sweetness of the ice cream. The sweetness of the ice cream has gone, and it's as if I have had a drink. Mm -hmm. Uh, of wine, so yeah, that's really good. Yeah, so, that one's good. And that's why we always try, you know, in, in different forms. Because if we looked at that and said, "Oh, a wine, we don't like wine, we're not going to have that," then we would never know how good it really is. So that one I would definitely get. Mm -hmm. This, if you all try this, you have to tell me what you thought of it. If you got that earthy flavor, yeah, because it's kind of earthy. Yeah, I would be very interested to find out. So I will have a picture of both of these for you at the end. And thanks for watching.